It's not even open yet, but those with no other options wait at this clinic in central Athens. Volunteers from a group called Doctors of the World run it for free. It's where many Greeks get what they can no longer pay for, checkups and medicine. I'm a building contractor, but because of the crisis I've had such little work I haven't been able to pay my health insurance for four years, so they don't pay for my heart pills. The pills are vital for Stelios Pronoitis and the clinic his last hope. He is just one of an estimated third of the Greek population which is unable to pay for health insurance. Dentist Nikitas Kanakis comes regularly to the clinic to offer his skills for free. He says he understands the difficulties his patients face and wants to help. It's not only the numbers, it's the problems they have. They become more complex problems. It's not just someone who is looking for a medicine, it's someone who's struggling to survive. Because for some uh, kind of patients, like diabetic patients, to find uh, the insulin that he needs. It's a fight for life every day. Kanakis pays special attention to his younger patients. He knows that if they don't get proper treatment now, they could face serious complications later. That would be bad for them and also for the Greek healthcare system. It was a system that even before it doesn't work, it didn't work. We spent a lot of money by giving the people uh, around, but we didn't create all the necessary that we needed. Now we crisis, we realize that the situation was worse than one, what we thought that we have. And uh, it's not a social net that uh, will help people survive. So volunteers give their time to run this clinic. It's funded by donations from abroad, from within the European Union. People are being given the minimum to keep themselves afloat. Stelios Pronoitis is grateful for his pills. He's not ashamed to be dependent on help, but he hopes that things will change after the elections. But I think it will be difficult, and if things do change, it will certainly not happen quickly. But I hope that things will improve for my daughter's generation. He's got what he needs. But for the clinic staff, it's going to be another long day. The queue by the door does not seem to have become any shorter.